What's up guys, my hair back in our video and today we are doing wing. For the first time ever on this channel, all elite my whole entire elite figure collection. No basics. Not one big set, all basics. We're in here and all that is all the basics. And all the elites are in the ring right now. And the thing well what I also did, I have all their accessories on though. So so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. This might be a long video, just to warn you. First, we're gonna start right here with the Oscar fan set, fan central. Um, no, no, no. Um, network spotlight. Never mind. Um. So here we have the fan central Oscar figure. So it's really cool. Um, it comes with the mask and a little headdress. So we're gonna take all that off. And then as you can see with Oscar's head scan. Um it has like her old black line that she used to wear. And she has green and pink hair. And this is nice and then she has her awesome attire. But this is probably one of my favorite one figures I have in my collection. Because of pink and purple um boots, along with some stuff near her main attire. I want to go for her strengths and stuff. So, yep. What a pretty good Asuka Fan Central Elite figure. Next up, we have Joman Jack Gallagher. Um, it's it's a good figure, you can say. Um, it has, like, the, the United Kingdom logo right there. They got all different stripes on his tights. And they got stripes on his socks or boots, whatever you want to call it. And then nothing really to do um, anything else. Not really anything else. With the figure and the head scan is pretty good. And it did come with an umbrella, but I'm using the umbrella for Elias's guitar. Yeah, and I'll explain why later. Next, we have Rey Mysterio. Just before we get into the figure, it comes with um, the little. Um, Queer thing. Um, I don't really know what's called, but it's good for displaying figures. As you saw, like I was displaying him in the beginning of the video. And then you got the awesome mystery figure. Um, this, this is one of my favorite figures I have in my collection as well. Hold on. Yeah, so it's a really awesome figure with all green details. It has the side with 619, all green and white. And we got the goat they goat symbol that he has. One of his Mysterio mask with the cross on it. And then we got the Rey Mysterio top, which has his Rey Mysterio along with the mask detail. And then you take it off. All of his tattoos were really awesome. And the back and side with all of his tattoos. That's my Rey Mysterio figure. Next, we have Cedric Alexander. Um, he comes with... So yeah, a really beautiful Cruiserweight title. And then we get into the Elite 67. Um, Cedric Alexander. With the white and purple details on his um, tights, along with his boots. And, and his armband. Well... One arm man, and then the other one with the tape. And then he comes with the cool mohawk, pretty much. Along with the beard and a pretty good looking head scan. And he does come with interchangeable hands. I don't really know where they are, but here's one. E C three. One of my favorite figures I have in my collection, the E C three. Even though he's not in WWE anymore. Um, let's just take a look at the accessories before we get into the figure. We got the NXT microphone. Very cool. And then we got the nice cloth. Well, no, not cloth, but we got a nice rubber shirt. With the EC3 with the three lines behind it. And then we got the is NXT. So I really like that. And then, we'll get into the man himself, E-C-3. There we go, we have E-C-3. Ah! 
sorry about that. Let's put the camera back up. There. All right, so we got EC3. We got the uh, yellow, black, uh, and knee pads and tights with white lines and stuff. So yeah, um, and then really good torso and stuff. And I really like the all the all the details on the, on the figure, including the head scan. Really awesome. I really like the spiky hair and the smooth on the back. And then the black boots. Really awesome figure. Love this figure. Next up, we have Carl Anderson. Pretty good figure, it comes with the two sweet, and then we got the number BC, and then we got Carl K A for Carl Anderson with the number sign. We got the P symbols and the black pants, black boots, um, cool detailed belt, normal torso, um, um, nice tattoo work on the side. That's a tattoo work and a pretty good um, head scan for Carl Anderson. And then we move on to his good brother, Luke Gallows. Well, I, I, don't worry about the head scan, but I, I, don't, I tried to add, like, um, what he had before he left WWE when he was at DLC. Don't mind about that. But otherwise, that is still a pretty good head scan. Um, slightly more detail on him than his brother. Um, really good um, figure. We got the... We got the... the you know that symbol that they have, and then we have all these numbers and stuff, and then yeah, pretty good detail on the pants, and the back it just has uh, you guys can kind of see, this this jacket's really hard to take off. I'm not even taking it off right now. You see, we got some nice detail there. All right, and this will be easier because we got the the jacket, really good detail. Got some letters there. I don't really know what that says. So I said letters. I think pretty good detail. We got the club symbol there, along with the hood, and then we got the two. We got the arms. Pretty good arms. And yeah, that's pretty much for the Luke Gallows figure. We have the broken one himself, or Woken, Matt Hardy. So here we go. We got the Matt Hardy with the delete hands, and then well, it, he comes with two. Here's another one. So yeah, he comes with two. Awesome, real, you know, awesome, but still a pretty, really good head scan. I think it's a good head scan. Um, some, maybe some of you guys disagree with me. I think it was a good head scan. I really like it. Um, I'm going to take off from the Vestal Fat. Alright, so we got the, um, we got the, the jacket thing. Really cool in the front. We got, like, the stripes. Wait, and like taking away the belt and the belt clip, along with like the white um, part of the jacket, and in the back we got them um, just something hardy. I think all fires them. Well, I'm not sure if they're fires, but yeah, really good vest. And then we got the main Logan guy himself, Matt Hardy. You? Yeah, we got Matt Hardy. We really looked at the head scan, but the torso. Um, nothing really. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I guess you can say. Yeah, it's a really good, pretty good torso. Um, nice detailed black belt, and then really good detail on the pants, along with the pockets. Probably another one of the figures is recommended if you want a Matt Hardy Woken one, or if you don't want a Woken Matt Hardy, I guess, you know, I will get the green pants Matt Hardy, which I had, but freaking my friend, well, Former friend, um, broke it. Yeah, I'm mean, not talk about that. After Matt, we have Jeff. It came with a non face paint um head scan, but I swapped it and put on a face painted head scan. Um, you got the cool armband that he has on his arms. Um, cool, f cool front on his neck. He has his neck tattoos. Front, the front of his body, pretty basic. And on the back, um, we have, oh, we have his freaking awesome green tattoo. And he has tattoo going down here, including on this hand. And then in the back, um, I had to refix that, but I'm trying to make his new tattoo that he has there. Then we got the Hardy Boy symbol. Then we got the awesome white belt. Oh, and a good detail on the black pants that he always wears, especially on the bottom. With his white slash black shoes. 
And that is it for my Jeff Hardy. AEW champion John Moxley or Dean Ambrose. Awesome. We got the DA on the shirt with tank top. Along with the blue jeans. Really detailed. Along with the belt. That's detailed. On the back it says Ambrose Asylum. Something like that. Uh, orange. Nothing really to see there. Just some um, white, white, white tape. Black shoes. And the head scan. It looks like the old Dean Ambrose before he returned to WWE. And what he looks like current. So this is like in 2017 what he looked like. That is Dean Ambrose. The current WWE champion. Drew McIntyre. What a freaking figure this is. Definitely one of my favorite figures I have. Awesome, like, well, awesome two head scans. This is one of them, like, when he used to come out with his hair down. He doesn't really do that anymore, but I still like it. An awesome. And, hold on. He has interchangeable hands. Right here, they're both the same. So we have the normal hands, and then also I got, the, got these hands, so when he's, like, on the top turnbuckle. Um, that's how his hands, you can know what I mean. So those are his hands. And now I'm going to take off his vest. Well, before that, here's the main head scan. Really, really like this head scan. Alright, now I'm going to take off the vest. Or jacket. Okay, so we got the entrance jacket off. Really cool detail on the front with like the stubble. Or like hair that he has in the front. Um, all, nice arms with the black tape near his wrist. On the back of it is tight. He has McIntyre. Really like that. And like a cool line thing it looks like. Kinda. And then in the front is the two X's or crosses. With the rest of his black. We got black knee pads and black boots. Some really awesome legs that he has. And this is definitely a go buy it. Really love this figure. We have Bobby Lashley, Elite 69, and Drew McIntyre was Elite 71, um, and Jeff Hardy, <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but though Jeff Hardy was Elite 70, and no, 57, alright, and then we got, then Matt Hardy was the WrestleMania 36, the club, I don't know, EC3, Elite 70, said you guys in, or, alright, yeah, um, guess we got Bobby Lashley, really awesome, I'm never really going to take off from the vest, because, but, before, so let's just get into this, we got the nice torso, with a lot of muscle and stuff, really cool, and the back, nothing really different, you know, right, but on the back, he has the, him, like, doing what the figure's doing right now, and then we got the black meat pads, along with the black boots, along with the black jacket, and then we got the armband, and the wrist tape with white and black. Same thing with this one. And then it has the dominant hands. And then we have um, the Lashley figure. I mean the Lashley head scan. Looks pretty good. And then here's his other hands. Like the normal hands. Those are his interchangeable hands. He came with a sledgehammer. And a tire. And I think he came with a, like one or two more accessories. I don't know. Um... Let me know in the comments below if you know what our accessories he came with for the Elite 69 Bobby Lashley. Here we have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Really awesome figure. Let's go give me the accessories first. So here we have on um, the Wing Eagle WWE title. And then he also came with like this, the custom Stone Cold title. And also like this circle WWE title. Which is, which is my custom hardcore title. But yeah, he came with all those titles, and but I had this one extra, so I just decided to put it with him. And then let's get to the we got the black boots along with his tattoo there, with the bowl with like red, really cool. Um, you got those cool knee pads. This one's cooler because it has like the little brace. We have the jacket with Austin. Then we have uh, the skull with the three sixteen. Then we got the arms with like the little bracelets and stuff. And then the torso pretty great basic but pretty cool. And the back is pretty basic. On the back is stone stone and stone cold. And then with the skull. And then the hats again, really like it. Here we have the Elite Charlotte Flair. What a nice figure this is. We got his her WrestleMania 32 retire. 
um, you get the nice flare robe with like the blue and that has flare right there. Really awesome. And then the back, really cool. And then we got the main Charlotte figure. And I know she's missing an arm, but the, please don't mind that. I'm sorry about that. But then we got the nice blue and silver details on her attire with the tights and a top. And then we got the nice head scan of Charlotte. And then the little, you can see like the sparkles there, right there. And then she has the black boots and little knee pads. And really awesome Charlotte Flair figure. Jinder Mahal. So we have this awesome figure. We got the little headdress. Now he comes out. Well, he used to, well yeah, he still comes out with. Um, pretty much an updated head scan to when he returned for one match and he got injured again. This is the current head scan. And also, um, and what an awesome torso and stuff. The pants, sort tights. Really good detail on them. It's nice silver and stuff. Flowers, blue. And then the knee pads are really gray and black. And then the... And then the uh, boots are black. And then that, and I showed the head scan in this. It came with the SmackDown Live main event ring. If you want this figure, you gotta get the SmackDown Live main event ring. We have Shayna Baszler, OE67. It comes with the NXT. Well, oops. It comes with the NXT Women's title. Or it's technically like the NXT title, they pretty much look the same. Yeah, we got the NXT Women's title that it came with. Oh my god. We got the towel that it came with. Um, that she comes out to the ring with. And then we got the awesome and good de and really good detail, Shayna Baszler. The only downside about this figure, for me, I have a loose arm on this figure, sadly. And this With this arm, I don't. And then on the top and her pants, really good detail with the spades and stuff. With the red, gold, and black. Really like all the details on this. And definitely one of the great one of the great woman's figures. And then we got the black boots. And then we got her tattooed arm with like the spades and stuff. And then we got the head scan. Looks pretty good. And then we got her the mini ponytail that she has on the back. As a Queen's Army, along with um, 1980, it says. And then on the back, it has like all more details. And really awesome Shayna Baszler. We have the Fashion Police, Fondango, and Tyler Breeze. So Tyler Breeze um, comes with a selfie stick. No. I gotta get out of the basic. There we go. Selfie stick. And then we got the Tiger Breeze. Um, well, well, the Fashion Police shirt. It's got to get it off. Here we go. The blue Fashion Police shirt is really cool. We got Breeze on go. And here they are. And now I'm buying this Fashion Patrol and they got the nice shirt. And then we got the awesome pants. That, then I'm just going to go through the pants on him. Because Fondango just has the same thing. Besides, on um, the bottom with um with these, I don't really know what to say. These these pom poms. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, Tyra Bre I mean, Fandango doesn't have them, but like really good detail on the pants, and then pretty much the same thing on on um the back and the front for both figures, and then it says Fashion Popo. Then we about for Tyra Breeze, he has a normal um. Normal um, torso, along with arms with um, some wristbands. And, and, the, the, we, and then we have um, the face scan. Tyra Breeze, really good. Face scan of Fandango, really good. And then a muscular um, torso for Fandango. And he just has um, black. Um, on his, you know, he has black wristband or wrist tape. And then he has a, his tattoo right there. So that is it for the Fashion Police. We have the phenomenal Intercontinental Champion himself, AJ Styles. So, really good figure. Um, definitely one of my favorite figures I have in my collection. Some of you might disagree with me. I think it's a really good figure.
Hold on. So those are the accessories. Get the rubber um, t-shirt. I wish, I wish this one was just like the EC3 one. Really wish. But there can only be one AJ Styles with stars and really good. Really like it. And the back is just is a little, his little AJ thing. Circle. And then on the pants, that's phenomenal one with green and white. And then on the side, that's phenomenal one with a circle and then it has the green lines. And then on this side, the same thing has it. Well, this one has the AJ. Now on the back, has the green lines. The front has like a hairy, um, a hairy torso. And we got the AJ with the with his son, his three sons and daughters' birth dates. The AJ. The back is just some plain, nothing on there. And then the hey face face scan, really awesome. Along with the hair, I've been waiting for this hair. Huh? And I'll just show you in my other AJ styles. Here's my old AJ. Here's my basic AJ styles. And yeah, like the head scan, so good, but. Not as good as this one. It also does, but it's just still really great AJ Styles. But I like this one better because it's an elite and green is way better than red in my opinion. And then we got the phenomenal hands. And then we got the WWE title. Really good. And then we have his main interchangeable hands. That is it for my AJ Styles. Mr. McMahon. What a really good figure. Let's stick with the head scan. Really cool. And the black hair. This came with him the circle WWE title. Along with just normal black pants, black shoes. And then this shirt is removable. Um, let's get it off. It's just like a, a normal black shirt. But then we got the Mr. McMahon figure. The torso really good. There's nothing really here. So there's a lot of muscular and stuff. And we get the black wristbands and stuff on his hands. And really, a really good Mr. McMahon figure. Okay. So we got Randy Orton, the Legend Killer, the Viper. Speaking of Viper, we got the Viper thing right here. I will we'll go with um, the jacket. You know, awesome head scan on two tattoos. Sleeves, really awesome. Head scan here we saw. This is on the back. Really awesome. And then we got the knee pads on with the boots with all the line details on his pants. And it came. And yes, it did come. With the WWE title. It did. It's the WrestleMania 34 Elite figure. Up next, we have Seth Rollins, who also came with the WWE Championship. So yeah, we already saw that there be a title. We got like um, a cool Seth Rollins with, with some little hair on his um front. We got the back with his back tattoo there. We got the cool hair. We got the screaming head sculpt, and then we do have like the green. And black details with the knee pads and boots and the pants. And then the pants are just black. And yeah, this this is my favorite Seth Rollins. Well, one of my favorites. And it did come with a vest, but I lost it and I cannot find it. And I'll probably never find it because I'm bad. But yeah. But yeah, that's really good for my Seth Rollins figure. Um, who else do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got six more figures to look at. We got my elite Nikki Cross in 65 or 66. Uh, we got her head. Really cool. Nah, oh, this is not the best head scan, but still, it'll do. We got that hat that she never wears anymore. We got the really cool interest vest. There's all detail all around it. Really cool. We got the ripped line in her pants. We got like, more detail on her. So yeah, really cool with the pants, black shoes. I'm just taking the vest off. 
And, for the, and then we get the main rubber shirt around her, which is fine. And now she, like, her, her attire, she's a, it's a little changed now. She actually changed the, it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. So if you want a kind of an updated Nikki Cross, which I'm not really going to do, but... I'm probably just gonna keep the same. But you can actually take that off. Like dig it off and then kind of have an updated Nikki Cross. It has like her top and stuff. So yeah, if you want a kind of an updated Nikki Cross like you saw on SmackDown last week, then um, you can just get do this. So you can have a little bit of an updated Nikki Cross without buying a new one. And yeah, that was Nikki Cross. And I thought that was a really good figure. It still is. Um, we got Baron Corbin, or King Corbin, who came with the blue money in the bank briefcase. How much is open to help? Go. And then we got Baron Corbin himself. Um, we got the old head scan, which is still really good. Definitely not updated. Sure. But we got his back tattoos. Along with um his arm sleeve. Well, one arm sleeve. And then we got that and then we got that tattoo. And then his cool front tattoo. And then yeah. Then we got the nice body well torso I should say. And then we got really good detail on the pants. Really good. And then yeah, that's the Baron Corbin. Really good figure. Um, and yeah, and that's all I really gotta say about that. Oh, and it did come, with, it did come with a tank top, like his old Baron Corbin tank top. Cannot find it again. Yeah, and I know this shirt is from the Sami Zayn figure. My friend gave it to me for some reason, so I just went on with Daniel Bryan. New step in my Sami Zayn. So yeah, he has the yep, yep, yep shirt. Sure. Even though it's the, I just put it as yes, yes, yes. But nonetheless, we have kind of the older head scan before the thing ripped off his hair. Or like before he like came back. And then, yeah, way before he became SmackDown General Manager, there's like his head scan before he got a normal haircut. And then we got the nice, nice torso. And then we got the red pants and stuff. And then these red pants and tights, I should say. Red knee pads with like all the silvered stuff. And then we get the fire on like um, the boots. Which is really cool. With the white and black. So there you go. That's Daniel Bryan. And you're getting to the final three figures. Final three figures. You have a stretcher. And because any reason I had the stretcher because it came with Braun Strowman, get the Monster Among Men, the Universal Champion. He has a cool tattoo. Is this missing like this Superman thing? It's okay. Um, he does have a new um, tattoo and they film this hat, this piece of uh, tape here, along with um this one. Well, this one does have a tattoo. And then we got his monster shirt, his tank top. That he kind of wears now. Not really, though. No. Then we got the cool cargo pants. Really cool. Then we got the black boots. We got the ponytail that he doesn't even use anymore as well. With that weird thing. The weird part of his hair. And then we got the beard plus mustache with like more. Yeah. And I'm pretty good at scan. Final two figures. Whew. This has been a freaking journey of clock name figures. And we still got, I still gotta do a basic video, which is gonna be even longer. So here we have Elias. He, he, he came with a guitar. I'm just using, because I can't find them. So I'm just using an umbrella, because I can't find that if he's doing guitar. But you know, I still break it and stuff. Yeah. 
but yeah, you still got pretty much like the guitar. You know, Joan and Jack Gallagher's. And then we get the cool um, things around his um, his arms, which is really cool. We got the cool um, torso along with the pants. Pants are pretty basic. And then we got a slight light gray over here under the shoes. And then the head scan, pretty good. Not really, as current, but still pretty good. And I do like the newest. Um, ah! Holy shoots. I am so sorry about that. Ugh, freaking camera fell. Hold on. 